Hello, this is Rice No. So this time I'm gonna explain how to let others play your game that you created in Java. Like uh, we have created this game adventure, and so once you finished creating your own game, then maybe you want to let your friends play your game. But right now we are running this game from this Eclipse, like by pressing this run button. So yeah, basically we need Eclipse to play this game. But this is not so convenient if you want to let your friends play your game. So there is another way. So this time we're gonna create this file, this JAR file. Hmm. So adventure.jar or jar. So what's this JAR? No, okay, so for example, let's close this Eclipse. So let's close this Eclipse. So Eclipse is not running. But if you double click this adventure.jar, then here, so you can play your game. So you don't need Eclipse to run. Only you need to double click this file so if you create this jar file and uh, send send it to your friend then uh, your friend can also play your game so this is more convenient so yeah i'm gonna explain how to create this jar file okay so first right click on your project folder in this case this adventure right click and then select export this one, export. Then, yeah, it says export resources into a jar file on the local file system. And so, yeah, there is this gen general install Java, run, debug, task team, XML. And uh, so choose this Java. And inside of this Java folder, there is Java file, Java doc, runnable Java file. And uh, in this case, we're gonna choose this jar file and click next. Then it says select the resources to export. And in this case, we, we want to export this adventure. So yeah, choose this adventure. And then, yeah, this is okay. This is okay. And uh, here, select the export destination. So basically you can choose where to export this jar file. And also you can choose the name of the file. So yeah, I'm gonna type adventure in upper letter adventure.jar and uh, I'm gonna export this to my D drive and then and don't click this finish yet but click this next and click and basically you don't have to change anything in this part so click next again and here and you don't have to change this and don't have to change this but here uh, select the class of the application entry point so and the main class so basically you need to choose a class that includes main method so the class that program starts from so but in this case we only have one class game class so we're gonna choose this game class and okay and now we can uh, click this finish and so inside of this d drive uh, so this adventure.jar has been created hmm. so exported and so if you double click this then you can play your game adventure hmm. talk to the guard attack the guard deep yeah so even if you close this eclipse but uh, you can still run you can still play this uh, program your game hmm. yeah so yeah if you send this jar file to your friend then uh, your friend can play your game too as long as they have installed Java into their computers. Yeah, so that's how to export Java file. But uh, 
yeah this time it worked well and it was pretty easy to export but if your program is using resources such as uh, JPEG pictures or sound or that kind of thing you know like we we have done before we also created this program in this program we used several JPEG images and uh, implemented these images into our program and also we created this resource folder and uh, placed these three JPEG images and if you want to create a jar file of this kind of program then uh, it will be a bit more complicated so on the next video I'm gonna explain how to create a jar file including a resource folder like this so thank you very much for watching and see you again bye